All right. Okay, so what is happening here? Um, a, B is a circle, C, D is a chord. Okay, whatever. Okay, and then CD be a chord that intersects E such that B, what? Too rude, what? Those lanes are so bad. Okay, um, I don't like this. AEC equals 45. Okay. So you're you're given like okay B is two root five. Uh, Okay, is that the information? And I want C squared plus D squared. So equivalently, I want C plus D, right? Um, because I know I know C times D right away by power of a point will be um, five root two minus two root five squared. So I need to figure out what to do with that um, angle. So I know C times D is 30. So I just need to figure out what to do with the angle. Oh, uh, okay. I need a better rule. Oh, oh, I, <laughs> I see the issue. Okay. Um, yeah, let me just zoom out. So, okay, what do I do with the angle? The angle is so bad. It's like, uh, I mean, I can force it through, but I don't really want to. So, this, um, hmm. <laughs> like I really so if I want this to be clean I want to actually not break the symmetry between CE and DE right Do I like use the fact that these triangles are similar? That doesn't let me use the 45 though. Um, nah. Cause C and D are so bad. Uh, uh. Why? So this is a 90 degree angle. I just don't see what you do with the 45. Like it tells you, the 45 tells you that the two arc things here. So, okay. Hmm. Okay, that, let me try a thing. So if I draw this guy and that guy, um, apparently if this angle is equal to like alpha, 
then this angle here is equal to 90 minus alpha. So it's like equal to that angle there. This is... No, that, that's not the place. Ah. Ninety minus alpha halves. Okay, so the part this one's alpha halves. Sorry, I misspoke. And then, yeah, that that's not much better. Um, ah. <sighs> We are doing an AMC problem on this stream. Um, <laughs> why not use cosines? Uh, I could, I just don't, I really don't want to. Evan, draw perpendicular from O to CD. Uh, I see, is that, is that, does that just work? I believe that just works. Because if I do that, then like this thing is this thing, this is half CD, so. So what it happens is like one half CD is the radius squared. minus the little height squared. And that little height is actually equal to CE minus one half CD. So, okay, if I call, let's give these names, okay? So we're going to call the longer one X and the shorter one Y. So we know X times Y. And now CD here is X plus Y. So um, to be more explicit, X plus Y over two, that's the length from C to the midpoint, is equal to CO squared, which is 5 root 2. I like this because it's not breaking the symmetry. And then the little guy, which we know is X minus Y over 2 squared. Does it just give me the same information back? If so, that's really unfortunate. No, no, this is fine. And so, um, wait, does it just work? Oh, I'm not watching chat at all. Um, no, this is fine. We, we get x squared plus y squared, right? You don't even need the x, y ops. You don't need the power of a point? That's so surprising. Um, okay, so move everything over. You get um, x, y, or sorry, x squared plus y squared. over two is equal to 50. So I guess the answer is independent of two root five, which is very strange. <laughs> um, I agree this seems very hard for a number 12. I mean, it was just like, I could bash it if I wanted to, but I know I'm missing something. That that thing about dropping the altitude is very cute. Um, I was very misled by them giving me the length of BE. I'm actually so surprised that... I mean, I guess something should be independent of... There, there should be some quantity that's independent. But that 45 degree angle is real trippy. Like that, that... <laughs> Wow, okay. All right, let's get back to the actual short list. We're doing APMO, right? It doesn't bode well. It's like blackboards and bucket. Uh, 